Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, He enriches and strengthens those He has already consecrated by holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever. Christopher, there are many YouTube hockey videos of you coming over and protecting your teammates. And I know for a fact that you will do the same with Taylor's heart. Chris is a very tough guy, but that wasn't apparent the night you asked if you could marry my daughter and you were sobbing like a little baby telling me how much you loved her. <laughs> the, the last thing you'll just have to accept is that even though you're a Hall of Fame Udell hockey player, you will always be the second best athlete in the relationship. To be real, Chris, you are a winner. You do great at everything you set your mind to. And tonight you have won the grand prize, our beautiful daughter. Tay, you have always been so special to me, Mom, Ash, and Justin. We will dance to the first song I heard on the jukebox at the diner when you were born, while I got Mom a rare roast beef sandwich as they were closing at midnight. Watching you grow into an amazing, smart, and courageous young woman has been a blessing for me and Mommy. Our car rides blasting the music on our way to softball tournaments and having Habib from the gas station and the toll attendant on the mass pike dancing with us were memories I'll never be forgotten. And when I think of you, the word lucky comes to mind. Whether it's family, friends, coworkers, we are all lucky to have you in our lives. And Christopher, you're really lucky. <laughs> Taylor, you are as well. This love with which you join your hands and hearts today never fail, but grow deeper and stronger as the years goes on. And if a true love and unselfish spirit of perfect sacrifice from each of you may guide every action of yours, you can expect the greatest measure of earthly happiness allotted to every Christian couple. Chris and Taylor, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. I, Chris, I, Chris. take you, Taylor, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. I, Taylor, take you, Chris, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. Taylor, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Grace, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And now, I want to introduce to you the newly married couple, no other than Mr. and Mrs. Volanino. Let's get it!
other night, I jumped out of bed out of a dead sleep, and Chris said, Alan, Alan, what's the matter? I said, I had a dream that Christopher and Taylor had a daughter. A beautiful little girl in a pink dress, big ruby lips, blonde hair, blue eyes. Chris goes, so what's the problem? I said, she had Christopher's personality. <laughs> in closing, we cannot wait to observe your journey ahead. God bless your gift of love for each other every day. And it's time to party. Taylor and Chris, I can say with certainty that you're a perfect match for each other and the best dog parents to Riggins. I'm so lucky to have had the privilege to watch your relationship grow, evolve, and blossom over the last eight years. What I wish for you both on your wedding day is not a perfect life, but that the love you have for each other today will lift you up and guide you through all that comes your way as a married couple. I'm so happy to finally have a real sister because Chris acting like one at this age was starting to get weird. <laughs> Congratulations, obviously I love both of you. I've loved both of you since I met you. And I'm so happy you're finally finally. I'm so free, so free, so free.